don't know about you guys, but I am a seasonal crocheter. I love to make amigurumi that are based off of the seasons and the time of year that we're in. And well, it is currently summertime and I just love the summer. I love the sunshine. I love the heat and I love all of the fun summer activities that we get to do. Not to mention as a kid and also as a former teacher, summer vacation, favorite time of the year. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you both free and paid amigurumi patterns that I have come across recently that just scream to me, summertime. We're going to go ahead and kick it off with our free patterns. And the first set of patterns is from one of my all time favorite amigurumi designers. We all know her. We all love her. It is Lauren Espy or Menagerie of Stitches. Now in this blog post, you actually have the patterns for four different summer bunnies. A cactus bunny, my personal favorite pineapple bunny, a donut bunny, as well as this adorable beach bunny with the little flamingo floaty. That is too cute. Before we go any deeper, I did want to mention this, that these patterns are actually modifications to Lauren's original pattern, the chubby bunny pattern. Now that is also a free pattern on Lauren's blog. So you will be able to find that pattern and then use these modifications to create these darling summertime bunnies. Now that original chubby bunny pattern looks like it is relatively simple, relatively easy and straightforward. And I would recommend it to a newer amigurumi maker. One thing that also really intrigues me about that bunny pattern and about these summer modifications is the fact that they look like they work up super quickly. I have mentioned this in the past. Sometimes I like to make big extravagant amigurumis, of course, but most of the time, I like to make things that are relatively quick and easy, and these little bunnies fit that bill perfectly. Not only is Lauren's blog incredible, but Lauren also does have a YouTube video, and there are some amazing videos up on the channel, including the link to her chubby bunny video. So if you do need that video guidance, which is so helpful, definitely check out Lauren's channel because there are some great patterns on there as well. Next up on our free patterns are patterns that you might have seen before. And those are the tropical amigurumi penguins. This is from the blog Stringy Ding Ding. And this was actually a crochet along, a summer crochet along that took place back in June or July of 2020. Now there are a ton of really cute summer amigurumi that were included in this crochet along, but I definitely want to focus more on the penguins because my goodness, these are incredible. The website does state that these penguins are an easy pattern. So if you are new to crochet an amigurumi pattern, these are ones that you might be able to tackle. One thing I did want to mention about this pattern though, just looking through it online, there is a bit of sewing that goes involved into this one. So if you're more into the no to low sew amigurumi, you might want to pass on these ones. But if you don't mind sewing, these ones should definitely be something pretty quick and easy to whip up. This blog post does have a ton of pictures that are included as well, which I always appreciate. And the techniques to make these penguins, although they do look like they would maybe be a little bit more advanced, they're very simple, they're very easy to do. And so I have a feeling you probably won't pull your hair out making these penguins because the stitches are so relatively easy to do. The next free pattern I wanna talk about is from the YouTuber Teresa's Crochet Shop. This is a free no sew pattern on her YouTube channel and my goodness, they are so cute. There is a paid version of the pattern on her website if you are interested, just in case YouTube videos or that sort of thing are not your typical way you like to make amigurumi, you do have the opportunity to purchase a pattern if you'd like to. Now I would say these stingrays are a beginner amigurumi friendly pattern simply because Teresa's Crochet Shop has gone over every single row with you in the video, which is so helpful when you are first starting to crochet. They do use Parfait Chunky in the video as well, which I know is so popular and everyone just loves a good fluffy plushy stingray. So these are sure to be a hit for whoever you make them for. And one last thing I did want to note about this pattern over on YouTube is that Teresa's Crochet Shop has included the timestamps for every single row and step. That's amazing. By having those time codes, that saves so much time, so much frustration. 
I think it's incredible. And I really applaud Teresa's Crochet Shop for taking the time to add those time codes into the description. So this next pattern I found on the Lovecrafts website. I do really enjoy buying yarn from Lovecrafts. And I think they have a great selection of free amigurumi patterns. And I stumbled across this watermelon pig and oh my, I had to share this one with you guys. I don't think you get any cuter than this. Now this pattern is listed on Lovecraft's website as intermediate. So if you are new to amigurumi or crocheting, this one you might wanna put on the back burner until you get a few more amigurumi under your belt for sure. Now this crochet pattern is designed by Sweet Oddity Art, who is a well-loved amigurumi designer online for sure. I know I definitely have some Sweet Oddity Art patterns and I have no doubt it will have you craving watermelon by the end. Now the next free pattern, you could count as amigurumi or you couldn't. I think it's amigurumi because it is a crocheted toy and that is crocheted water balloons. Now you can find patterns for these everywhere. There are a ton of free crochet water balloon patterns out there. The one that I found is from a blog called Left in Knots and they are exactly what you would think they would be easy, latex-free, and mess-free water balloons for all of the people in your life to enjoy during the hot, sweltering summertime. I do love the idea that these are mess-free. I have been wanting to make water balloons for a while now because, let's be real, they are kind of not great to pick up. Children and adults alike love to have water balloon fights, but not everyone likes the balloon aspect of water balloon fights. Now this pattern does use Bernat blanket yarn. I personally have never made water balloons, so I don't know if any other type of yarn would work well with these. So I would probably stick with the Bernat blanket just to be safe, but essentially these are really quick, really fast. You crochet them up, they make little water balloons that then absorb a ton of water Everyone can throw them at each other, get all wet, have all of the splashing fun that they want. And once you're done, you just pop them right into the washing machine and they're gonna be ready for next time. Crocheted water balloons are a fantastic choice for any family this summer season. They're eco-friendly, they're fun, they're easy, and who doesn't love to have a water balloon fight? The last free pattern that I did wanna highlight is the firecracker and purple popsicle pattern. I did find this pattern on Ravelry. And it does mention that it is published in Jess Mason's Ravelry store. I don't know if that's the name of the brand, but that's just where I found it. This is a free Ravelry download, which is really nice. I do like when Ravelry downloads have the PDF and they don't just necessarily lead you to the blog post. I think that's really cool. But the main reason I wanted to highlight these ones is because it's a bomb pop. Growing up in July, I had a ton of bomb pops. The ice cream man would come up and down the street. And if I was able to quickly scrounge up enough coins from all over my house and afford to get an ice cream from the ice cream man, it was usually a bomb pop that I would get. Or the snow cones with the gumball on the bottom of them. One of the two. <laughs> but I just thought bomb pop, popsicle, summertime, free pattern. It was perfect. Now this pattern is listed as a beginner pattern. And looking at it, I would say, Sure, the shape of it should be relatively easy. As I was browsing through the downloadable pattern though, some of the rows do have a lot of instruction to them. So I don't know for sure, but I would say this one should be okay for beginners. However, just pack your patience and make sure you're laser focused because when reading this pattern, you might need to follow the pattern a little bit more closely than other beginner patterns, if that makes sense. Now that's it for all of our free crochet patterns. Let's go ahead and jump into some of the paid patterns that I have found that really were interesting to me. All of the patterns I will be talking about, I did find on Etsy and I will be linking their Etsy links down below, but feel free to purchase any and all patterns on whatever platform that you prefer to use. The first is this adorable set of an ice cream, a pineapple, and a surfboard. This is a pattern by Leilala on Etsy, and I have had these patterns in my wish list for a little bit now because I love the shape of these. I don't know what it is. I think it's that little stubby legged pineapple. I think these are very intriguing looking amigurumi patterns, and I feel like the style is very unique to this specific designer, which as you guys know, is one of my favorite things about pattern designers. If I can just look at a pattern and know instantly who that designer is, I think that's a great thing. 
Now Etsy does say that this is a level two easy crochet pattern, which to me, I would say means advanced beginner crochet pattern. The next pattern, I see it every time I go on Etsy and I don't know why I haven't bought it yet. This pattern is so up my alley and it's this ice cream eating Frankenstein. <laughs> this is a pattern by Gui Chai. Now I have done one of their patterns before and I was very new to Amigurumi when I made their patterns and I, really struggled with it. So I would definitely recommend this pattern more for advanced beginners to intermediate crochet artists just because they can be a lot and be very detailed. With all of that aside, I just love this pattern. You guys know how much I love Frankenstein's monster. You know how much I love the book Frankenstein. I just love all things monster and Frankenstein. <laughs> And this one is so cute. I don't know if it's intended for summer, but to me, it almost is like this little Frankenstein's monster has his adorable little plushie. He's got his ice cream and he's ready to hit the beach. <laughs> That's just how I've interpreted this pattern. So this might not be a summer pattern to everybody, but for me, definitely was. And you know what? Frankenstein is an all year long thing. So absolutely Frankenstein can be a summertime pattern. <laughs> Next up, we have these Jellyfish by One and Two Company. Now, I am not familiar with this designer. I don't think I've ever had any of their patterns before, but when I stumbled across these little jellyfish, I thought they were ghosts. <laughs> I thought they were jellyfish ghosts. I thought they were summertime ghosts. And so I loved them. Now this pattern does say it is easy to intermediate and just looking at the pictures, I would say definitely this one does look a little bit more detailed, not so simple. So if you are more of an advanced Amikurumi maker, you should be able to do this one no problem. But I just absolutely love the colors of these and I love the shape of these jellyfish. Again, I thought they were little ghosts and so automatically I was intrigued, but then to learn that they are in fact jellyfish, I'm just even more intrigued because you took a very popular Amikurumi uh, thing to make and you turned it around to be something completely different and unique and I think that is so cool. Not you but you know the designer. <laughs> Anyways I definitely will be checking out this designer. They have some very interesting designs in their shop and I think I'll start off with these adorable jellyfish. The next pattern is a little much and that is the seahorse and coral amigurumi by Dangurumi. I saw this and I instantly added it to my wish list just because of the amount of detail in this crochet pattern. It's mind blowing. It doesn't say too much about the level of difficulty for this Amigurumi, but I can tell you right now, this is not a pattern for beginners. The amount of detail and time that is going to go into this Amigurumi is going to be a lot. So if you're looking for a summary crochet project that's really gonna challenge you and really take the time to enjoy and create, I would recommend this one. I can just imagine anyone who creates this is going to feel so proud by the end of it because you created truly a piece of art. It is incredible, it is beautiful, it is summery. I love it, it's amazing, and I hope to one day make something along these lines. Next up is a pattern by a designer who I have so many of their patterns in my wish list. I have so many. It's incredible. This designer style is so wonderful. And that is the Cute Summer Frog on Vacation <laughs> by Three Friends Patterns. You guys don't need me to explain why I included him in this video. Just look at him. It is a frog on vacation. He is having the time of his life. I love it. I wish I was this frog. <laughs> He's got his little refreshing fruit drink. He's got his floaty. His adorable little swimming trunks are ugh, so cute. The hat, the expression, all of it. This is so incredible. I love, love, love this designer and the creativity that they put behind their designs. The Etsy listing does say that this is an intermediate pattern. So if you're a beginner, maybe stay away from this one. It looks like there is a lot of detail, a lot of time and quite a bit of sewing that does go into this one. And I don't know for sure because I don't have the pattern, but it also looks like this Amigurumi might possibly call for a metal armature. Now I don't typically use wire and make wire armatures for my Amigurumi. I don't find the need to personally for me and my style, but for something like this, I would maybe consider it so that he could stand up or whatever, but 
anyway just keep that in mind you probably might need an armature for this crochet pattern next up is a pattern from a shop that i really dig their vibes they do a lot of kind of more weird amigurumi which is a good thing a lot of their patterns are very unusual and different and I just I think they're so great and these are no exception this is the marshmallow set by Outlaw Heart Creations and I just absolutely love these adorable little marshmallows they're so cute so with this pattern you get three of them you do get the base marshmallow you get the one that is on fire <laughs> and then you get the completely burnt marshmallow which is pretty close to how I like my marshmallows when roasting them over a fire now this pattern doesn't say if it is beginner or intermediate, but based off of what I see on the pictures, I would say they are advanced beginner crochet patterns to maybe even a beginner crochet pattern. The shape of the marshmallow shouldn't be terribly difficult to create. And it looks like there are some kind of techniques to make the fire and that brown part of that middle marshmallow. But overall, I would say this is a fairly beginner friendly to advanced beginner friendly crochet pattern and a perfect one for all of you out there who love to go camping or make s'mores in your backyard or however you like to do it. S'mores are such a huge part of summertime and so I feel like this crochet pattern should be too. And for our last paid crochet pattern, I saw this and I had to include this in this video just because I want nothing to do with these things in real life, but in crocheted form, it's pretty funny. And that is the Crocheted Mosquito <laughs> by Angela Nuko. I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> this is ridiculous, uh, but in a good way. Oh my goodness. I think this is hilarious. Once again, I want nothing to do with mosquitoes in the summertime. The only thing I don't like about summertime is mosquitoes. Yuck. But this mosquito, he is too funny. He is too cute. I love his little long nose thing, whatever it is. Now it doesn't say if this pattern is beginner friendly or more intermediate. Upon looking at him, I would say advanced beginner. I don't know, it, it, it's very hard to say just because there is a lot of shaping that goes into like say his eyes and the shape of his body and things. So if you are brand new to Amigurumi, I would maybe hold off on this one just for a bit, uh, but I still think he's really funny. I think he's really cute and I probably will be making this one and giving it as a gift to somebody who I know that just always gets eaten alive by mosquitoes. I just think it's so funny and I had to include it because it's summertime and you can't have summertime without mosquitoes, at least where I live. But that's it. Those are all of the summertime patterns that I have been really interested in lately. If you did not see my community post here on YouTube, the video uploads are going to be a little bit more sporadic here during the summertime. And that's just because my kiddo is on summer break and we do a lot of things. We have a lot of activities that we do. We spend a lot of time outside and it's just nice to, you know, enjoy one another's company. But I will upload videos when I can. And August is right around the corner and I'm hoping to to really ramp up those uploads once school is back in session. But thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. You are so wonderful. I hope you are having a wonderful summer so far and I will see you all a little later. Bye.